This presentation is on the random forest classification of building vulnerability during wildfire events in California. Wildfires in California are becoming larger and more costly each year. Adapting to this growing fire climate will require a better understanding of the relationship between fire and our communities. Our current understanding of wildfires comes from statistical methods that analyze the pattern of fires in relation to their fire regimes. While these models are good at examining the pattern of fire in relation to fire regime variables such as climate and fuel, they don't necessarily explain the how, why, and when these patterns occur. Mechanistic models provide an alternative approach to statistical models by taking into consideration the fundamental processes between variables to better explain fire behavior. Up until now, mechanistic models were difficult to create because they require a significant amount of data and processing power to make meaningful results. Thankfully, advances in data collection, analysis, and availability make mechanistic models possible today. The objective of this project is to create a mechanistic model of wildfires in California that identifies the relationship between building vulnerability and ecological variables during a wildfire event by using the Random Forest Classification Tool in ArcGIS Pro. Accomplishing this objective will answer the research questions of how, why, and when each variable contributes to building vulnerability. To begin the assessment, the random forest classifier was trained to predict if a building would be destroyed during a fire using raster data provided by the Spatial Informatics Group. The data provided included a feature class of historical burned building data and raster data covering various ecological fire regime indicators. Once trained, the classifier was then used to predict if a building would be destroyed during a wildfire for each year from 2000 to 2009 and display which explanatory variables were most important in the prediction. After running the tool for each year, the resulting importance tables produced by the classifier were collected and put into a time series chart. The chart reveals that the importance of each variable varies significantly from year to year. This implies that, while building vulnerability is made up of a complex interplay of environmental factors, the actual determination of vulnerability is made by a few select drivers at a time. Further exploration of these variables, both by using higher resolution data sets and increasing the temporal spatial sensitivity of the analysis, would yield much clearer results and better identify the causal mechanisms behind building loss each year. The knowledge of these mechanisms would be vital in guiding improvements to wildfire management strategies that better prepare and protect communities in high fire risk areas. The work presented in this video would not be possible without the resources from the Spatial Informatics Group and project guidance from David Saw and Max Moritz. This video was created as a project for the Geospatial Analysis Lab at the University of San Francisco. If you'd like to see other projects like this, please follow the link displayed on the screen. Thank you for watching.